Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random love reading. This reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you. Just take what does resonate and leave the rest right. You guys you guys know what you're doing right. You know the drill. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so much. Just Thank you. Thank you very, very much for all of your support. I really do mean that. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all that you do. All right, so Divine, what do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? Okay, well, you know what? Here's, here's the deal. This person, I feel like what we have here is a masculine energy, okay, who has been investing into something else for what could have been years. It could be uh, anywhere from five to seven years here, okay? They're realizing that um, it's not going the way they thought it was going to. They put everything into wherever they are, okay? And I feel like they chose someone else over you that's the feeling that i'm getting or they invested in anything else except for you okay um and now they're standing here and they understand that they're not gonna they they wasted their time and their effort because this person's looking at having a new beginning here now they kind of want this new beginning um but they've spent too much time wherever they are a lot of wasted time, a lot of wasted effort, because they're going to have to walk away from all of these pentacles here, I feel. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting, that it's not really um, giving them anything, okay? That's what they're thinking about. They didn't get anything out of it, okay? Whatever they chose to invest in. Now, this person stood here knowing all of this, knowing that you were probably waiting for them at one point, knowing that they sacrificed you for something else that didn't work out. I feel like they've done a lot to you, to this connection, and behind the scenes. And this person's been standing here knowing they've needed to confess. They needed to maybe apologize and make this right, okay? But they put it off, and they put it off. They ignored it. They were in denial. This person didn't want to confront. They were being a coward, okay? Um, and they've been looking at, like, they know. They know they can't really move from this, um, from this direction. They can't move unless they confront all of this, okay? And I feel like you're moving on now. You're moving forward. You're not waiting for this person. They made their decision. They've been working on something else. And now they're angry, they're angry at you because you're moving forward. After I feel like you were, you were put through a, a battlefield, okay? You were put through a battle. You had to heal on your own, and now you're moving along, okay? You could be a Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aquarius maybe. Um, but, yeah, this person now is angry with you, Okay? Um, and honestly, I feel like they don't have a reason to be. I feel like this person played you in the past. They may want to take some action towards you now. All right. Um, but I feel like they're mad at you for leaving the scene. But they had you sitting here, what, just healing and working on yourself for what could have been years. Like, years. Okay. Okay. Why wouldn't you move forward? And I feel like you're having a victory. They're angry with that too. Um, but the real victory here that you're having is that, um, like I said, you've been put through a battle and you're coming out healed. Okay? And you're moving on with your life. Yeah, now they're in a lot of regret. Um, but when they feel that pain, it makes them angry. They don't like it. I'm feeling the anger off of this person, okay? Um, yeah, they turned their back on you completely. And they went and invested into a third-party situation. 
that didn't have any love in them in this there's just blood and sand that's it they had a chance with you at one point and they took that cup that blessing and love right here on the bottom they took it and they threw it away and turned their back on you and this has been a long time that you've probably heard from this person but when they feel like this this person gets all up in their ego they get really grumpy kind of like a big baby okay they don't like to be wrong they don't like it that they made a poor choice they don't like it that um, you're having a victory and they are not this person is a wounded warrior all right they're not really having a victory right now as a matter of fact they're really sad because you're not in their life but that doesn't give them a, a right to come in angry and I, I feel like they are they're mad at you they you know they're angry with you for moving on but you're an empress uh, that could be why they're upset now they're realizing that um, you were their energetic match I feel but this person's too much in their ego um, to take accountability for their actions okay so basically they're uh, because of their ego they're watching you leave they've been watching you this whole time boss up into the Empress throne you're every queen in the deck here extremely abundant leveled up in your life you're living probably a pretty cush life right now um, but you had to work really hard for this and you did all of this alone and your person's over here I mean look at the colors you've got all the yellow and they've got bright steaming hot red so I feel like this person's envious of you they're jealous um, they're angry you know this knight comes in angry because you are moving forward and you're having a victory and you're the Empress and they lost you when they turned their back on you. What did this person expect? You know, they turned their back. They were all up in their ego. They didn't think, you know, it's hard to teach the emperor something because they already think they know it all. And, and they're so much in their ego that they don't want to admit that they were wrong. Okay, so they've had to carry this burden. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Right? They had to carry this burden with them through this whole entire cycle because they didn't want to confront the fact that they were wrong. They didn't want to put down their ego. And so they're losing an empress. I mean, you know, you're not going to wait for this person forever to get their act together and treat you right. You know, and you're not going to wait for them together to, to for, but you're not going to wait for them forever to make you this offer. This is uh, this offer. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. Like this is turtle slow. Okay. Um, and they're, they're coming in guarded because they have to approach an empress now. Probably one that they, um, not only did they mistreat you, but I feel like they underestimated you as well. And they don't, it's almost like this emperor thinks they're all hot and big, right? This is biggie, biggie, right? Um, sitting on that emperor throne, but really, <laughs> it's, it's because they're hanging on to their ego. Really, in all actuality, they feel more like a knight. And they know that this offer has taken way too long to come forward. And at the time, this person didn't care. They weren't going to try to break that ego. They were very arrogant. Okay. Is really the energy that I'm feeling here. All right. What else can you show me, Divine? Now they're angry because you're moving on. How does that make sense? I'll wait. How does that make sense? No, you're an earth angel. They played an earth angel. They played you, then they walked away and ghosted you. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And this person could have done this with a lot of people. They did this with a lot of people, collective. 
And now this person, after how they treated you, now they, they're mad because you've healed and you're moving on, having a victory? I'm sorry, but how dare they? I'll say it. I'll say it. How dare they? This person must really think that they're, you know, awesome. But, I mean, in, I feel like then in that case, they, sh they should be strong enough to take responsibility for playing and, and ghosting an earth angel. Now they want to come in with an apology, maybe, but there's a fish in that cup, and they're coming towards you as a page. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't like this person's energy. It's it's just, yeah, look, treating you like an option. Now they can see you're the most abundant one. See, this person, when they look, they had other options. This was a player. They've ghosted a lot of people, okay, collective? This person has played and ghosted a lot of people. They just picked the wrong person to do it to. They picked an earth angel that was going to turn into an empress. They'd have to find four queens to equal one of you. Okay? And here at the time, they didn't think you were worthy of much. This person thought they were better than you, or they just wanted to play little games. So they put you out here with all the other options, right? Under a bunch of illusions. Sorry, under a bunch of illusions, right? They were under illusions that you weren't good enough, I feel. Or you were just like the others. Let's just say it like that. You were just like the others, right? Well, now all the illusions are, have rolled back. They're seeing everything and everyone pretty clearly now. And they're also realizing that you were the most abundant person they knew. But they treated you like, a, like everyone else that they, they played and they ghosted. This person was a player. I feel like they were a player that was, that was uh, very arrogant. They were a very arrogant player, and they were too much in their ego to take responsibility for how they treated you. Okay? So, yeah, now they want to apologize. I feel like this person is watching you, studying you, maybe making a plan okay to come forward but they're getting angry they're getting really mad <sighs> i don't think i feel like when this person played you they covered you up with a sheet they didn't really want to look at this again you know they didn't think they had to with how arrogant they were now they're studying you now they're trying to plan to come in they're jealous they're upset because you're moving on huh you know, and this was it. I feel like they wanted you to chase them and you didn't. You're going in a different direction altogether. You're not chasing after this person. You're just leaving the scene. Like this person was so in their ego, they thought they were such a prize that everyone was going to chase them. And I feel like most people did, um, except for you. You're the only one who didn't. And now you're the only one that they want. And they're angry with you. I feel like they want to get you back into this game. I think they, I don't think this person really wants to confess anything. I don't even know if they're in love with you because I don't see a whole lot of love here besides the love that they walk away from. And so I feel like they just want to get you back into the game because this person is still in their ego. They're, they're still... Um, and they're in they're just they live for their ego right and uh and yeah they want to get you back in the game you're hurting this person's ego they're very arrogant so i feel like they're gonna reach out to you here they're what hold on a second my cat won't leave me alone okay sorry about that again all the interruptions i feel like they don't even want me to tell you all of this but yeah they're watching you in pain they're, they're feeling betrayed because you didn't chase them like everyone else. Because you had self-respect. Because you knew your value. And because you were led to work on you. Okay? You're an earth angel. 
and this person's watching you they're jealous of you um, they're they're thinking you're betraying them because you won't feed their ego you know what too bad I gotta say it <laughs> too bad for this person you're having a victory you're an empress now you don't need anyone in your energy and I don't think you're gonna be playing around with any smooth talker who's going to come in and play you and use you and in and out energy. This person's, I feel like they want to come back in. And this person goes after what they want and they do everything they can to get it. So I, I really feel like this person's going to use their um, the communication skills to try to get back in. They're going to, they're going to try to come in and play you like they did before because they you haven't chased them yet collective and they darn it they want you to chase them <sighs> I think you're gonna be like no you know what I'm not doing that right I feel like all the empresses out here are really finally just sick of this energy you know, for real. And this person, you know, they're upset. They're acting like a kid. They're lashing out in anger. They're feeling betrayed because you didn't play their game and feed their ego. Right? And they're expecting you to chase them. feel like this person is just, they're a player. They like third-party situations. They like the game collective. And this person hasn't learned a thing. I really feel like they haven't learned a thing except for maybe they've been wasting all of their time waiting for you to chase them. They're upset because they have to start their little game all over again. Let's see what your advice is. I feel like you guys just keep moving forward, stay in your lane. You're having a victory here. Whatever you're doing is working for you. This person chose not to be in your life. And now they're choosing to try to get you to play a little um, chase game with them. You know what? Mm -mm. Okay, well, what can you show me? What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? Yeah, I feel like the divine is just saying, you know what, follow us. You've gone by the book here. Like I said, you're an earth angel. You worked on you when this all happened. Um, you weren't in this person's business. You didn't act out or lash out with any kind of retaliation in any way. You latched on to the divine and you allowed the divine to lead you and you've gone by the book and I feel like that's what they want you to do. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, right? With a divine number 11, yeah. You're being divinely led. And I feel like you're going in a different direction than this person is. Yeah, I feel like after this long journey, you've been doing this for a long time on this journey. I feel like now it's time for you guys to rest. This is a rest time now to treat yourself, maybe do some purging. Some of you could even be going on a vacation here. Um, I, just calmer waters, right? I feel like, and you could be a water sign. Cancer's out here. You could be a Sagittarius. Taurus, yeah, and I feel like, um, I feel like you may need to purge the rest of this out. You've been treated so unfairly. I feel like rest and rejuvenation is really important for you right now because you're about to start a new life, I feel. The divine's taking you in a completely different direction. I can't remember who else I got that for. Um, yeah, you're you're about to be happy, happy. You're about to get a blessing too, maybe something that you guys have been hoping for and wishing for and praying for for a long time.
feel like because you know what you go by the book right you ask the divine questions you you trust them yeah you're about to it's time it's time one i feel like you need to release this person which i feel like you are for the most part and two it's time your rainbow is overdue i'm here in bad company uh, give me silver blue and gold the colors of the sky i'm told my rainbow is overdue right that's what i'm hearing so yeah it's time it's time for you to be blessed it's time for you to be happy it's time for you to maybe um, meet a new soul tribe you know um, but yeah your happiness is coming here collective your rainbow's overdue it's here Anyway, this is what I've got for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.